Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks. I'm really excited about today's lesson. I'm going to demonstrate yet another reason why you should take advantage of a great new feature in Excel 2007, tables. When we base a pivot table not on a data range but on an Excel 2007 table, we're able to automatically expand the range of our pivot table source without having to go back and recreate the pivot table. Let me demonstrate. Over here, we collected information for daily transactions running from January 1st through April 30th. I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Control End to show the dimensions of our data set. We did use Excel 2007 tables to create a named range for our tables. So over here in the design table tools, I created a named range for the table and I called it banking. Well, now what I want to do is I want to be able to expand the range of data for my pivot table without having to go back and recreate the pivot table. I have the pivot table just the way I want, but now I have additional information. I have transactions for May. I want to be able to append the transactions for May onto my existing de definition of the table for January 1st through April 30th. So I'll begin by holding down Control Shift and I'll use the right arrow and then the down arrow to select that information. Let me use the keyboard shortcut Control C to copy it to the clipboard. Now over here on our source data, remember our source data runs through April 30th. So what I want to do is I want to append the information from May into this name table called Banking. So I'll use Control V to append it. Now if I come over here into the name range and select Banking, I'll see by using Control End that the new dimensions for the name range is down through May 20th. So I appended that information onto that name range. The name range served as the basis for my pivot table. I have the pivot table formatted exactly the way I want. Rather than having to go back and redefine the pivot table and start from scratch, all I have to do, because I'm basing the pivot table off of an Excel 2007 table, is come over Pivot Table Tools on Options, Select, Refresh, Click, Refresh, and there you go. Now my May information has been added in. So it's a great way to take advantage of the one million rows that we have in Excel 2007 and to take advantage of Excel 2007 tables. Give it a name range, it makes it easy to understand, append new information, and there you go. With a couple of clicks of the mouse, I have the most current information in my pivot table. And I'll see you in the next lesson.